Wales are coming home. They have bailed out of this year's tournament in Qatar. It's their first ever group exit at any major tournament they've been in. And it's safe to say we probably won't see Wales at another World Cup again until 2086. But not, nevertheless, I've got to say, you know, injuries, lack of playing time for a lot of their players. And wait, England were just too strong. I mean, obviously, uh, for Wales, this tournament came at least probably about five months too late for them. I mean, they played very well against Austria. And in the playoff uh, qualifiers uh, back in March. And, of course, they also got the job done against Ukraine in June. But, frankly, I mean, um, a lot of their players failed. Ramsey wasn't fit. And, then of course, in the in the game itself, 3-0 loss to England. Um, Nico Williams and Joe Allen had to come off injured. And, well, frankly, just the deficiencies were at that squad was all dead to see. But as for England, the changes that... Southgate made Foden and Rashford gave England more of a more of a cutting edge up front. Um, Carrie Kane played in Rashford in for a chance in the first half, the only chance of for England really. Henderson came in for Mount and Henderson looked and the midfield passing looked a lot better, better attention to ball, bare passing. But of course, it is a very tired Wales team we did play against. Um, as for the goals, Rashford, fantastic, cold free kick. And then 90 seconds later, Rashford wins the ball of Ben Davies, slips in Harry Kane to cross it, effect, cross the face to goal. And Foden was there to lash it home off his left boot. Wales was shell shocked. And frankly, just pretty much f- threw in the towel. Then, of course, Rashford got a third goal. And really, what what else can I say for Wales? Just, I mean, I know uh, Keith Moore had a shot that was actually deflected and forced um, Jordan Pickford to make a great save. Of course, it was deflected by none other than Harry Maguire, who always seems to be in, in the thick of the action. But this time, he got away with it. Um, In my opinion, I think we should keep hold of the front three that we played today. Folded, Rashford did well, linking up with Kane. And Henderson was a far, far better player in that midfield alongside Rice and Bellingham. But all Henderson did pick up a a, 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 a stone sub challenge from uh, Aaron Ramsey. What was a very, very robust challenge, but hopefully he'll be okay. Calvin Phillips and Kyle Walker um, appeared today. And of course... Um, Trent Alexander-Arnold also got run out. Good to see, you know, Southgate is keeping the squad fresh, you know. I was quite angry at Southgate for that nil-nil draw against America, but I decided to withhold my opinion, knowing that there was a chance we'll probably beat Wales today. And we got, and we did beat Wales, and we, well, and we won the group with seven points and a goal difference of plus seven. Job done. And England will play Senegal at 7 o'clock UK time on Sunday. Of course, that's literally 2 o'clock for East Coast Americans. And I that's it.